What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you and talking about the WWE Hall of Fame 2020 inductees. Let's get right into this. So now I have the full list of everybody who's getting inducted this year. There's a lot of great names, so let's just get started here. Up first, I'm going to start off with the Bella Twins. Now the Bella Twins are one of the inductees this year that a lot of people are not really happy that they're getting inducted, at least this quick. They did announce prior to getting announced for the Hall of Fame, they announced that they are officially retired from the WWE. But I honestly feel like it'd be nice to see them make a comeback in the future. Of course, Nikki Bella is pregnant, and I believe Brie Bella as well. But hopefully, a year or so down the line, whenever they already have the children, hopefully they can come back and at least get a shot for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. I think after they retired, once the Tag Team Championship for the Women's Division came out, it was honestly a missed opportunity for the Bella Twins not to have a shot for the championship. I think that was a little bit of a low blow. But for Brie Bella, she is a one-time Divas champion. And Nikki Bella is a two-time and longest reigning WWE Divas championship. So in my opinion, even though they have had a really back and forth career they've had a lot of great rivalries and right up until the end when they announced their retirements and were leaving the wwe they had a huge run in my opinion and they're well deserving of going into the hall of fame next up is the british bulldog for years now fans other wrestlers and even fellow wwe hall of famers have wanted the wwe to induct davy boy smith into the Hall of Fame as the British Bulldog. However, WWE has never done so until now, and it might have a lot to do with how much heat WWE has been getting every single year for not inducting him into the Hall of Fame. In my opinion, it should have been done a lot sooner, but at least he is going in the Hall of Fame and they are honoring him. He is a one-time Intercontinental Champion, a two-time European Champion, a two-time Hardcore Champion, and a two-time WWF world tag team champion so he had a hell of a career and definitely in my opinion deserves to go in the hall of fame and i'm glad wwe is finally doing that next is justin thunder liger now this is somebody who has only had a handful of matches maybe even just one match in the wwe but he was part of wcw and after that he did travel the world and has been part of various promotions he is a one-time WCW light heavyweight champion, and I believe his one and only match in the WWE was against Tyler Breeze in NXT. Now, he has had one hell of a lengthy career, and I believe because he announced he's retiring officially and he's never getting back in the ring, that's why WWE decided to have him go into the Hall of Fame. It makes sense. He was part of WCW. He did have a match in the WWE. Why not induct him? And I'm glad they are doing that. Next up is JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield, and I'm honestly excited because this is somebody that I've been predicting for the past few years was going to get in the Hall of Fame, and WWE is finally doing it. He is a one-time WWE Champion, a one-time Intercontinental, a one-time United States, three-time Tag Team Champion, one-time European Champion, a staggering 18-time hardcore champion. I believe he has the record for holding that championship the most times. And he has had so many positions in the WWE, from being a general manager to being an announcer and even in-ring competitor. So he's had a great career, in my opinion. And above everything else, he was the creator of WWE's Tribute to the Troops. So he has had a great career, one hell of a career, has had numerous championships, and a great run in the WWE. I'm glad he's going to the Hall of Fame. I've been predicting this for years. I'm glad it's finally happening. Next up is the NWO. I don't believe anybody predicted that they were going to get inducted this year. Of course, last year's headliner was D-Generation X. So my prediction was that NWO will not get inducted until the following year, leave one year in between, because after the NWO, what other faction is going to headline the Hall of Fame? To me, I'm not so sure. So in my opinion, they should have waited until they until at least next year or maybe a couple more years before inducting them, but they definitely deserve to go in the Hall of Fame. The one thing I will say is they are not 
inducting the entire NWO. Of course, when the NWO first started, they had a numerous amount of people joined the NWO. And I believe at one time they had almost the entire locker room as part of the NWO, which is crazy to think about. So, of course, the WWE is not going to induct everybody. Of course, a lot of people just did not contribute to the NWO in very big ways. So those that are getting honored into the Hall of Fame as part of NWO are Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and X-Pac. So the main forces of the NWO and the three originals, Hogan, Nash, and Scott Hall. So this is awesome to see them, and I'm glad they didn't have everybody inducted into the Hall of Fame, because that would be a lot of inductees. That is a huge amount if they inducted everybody that was part of the faction, so I'm glad they only contributed to the main ones, but of course there is a few others that could have been added to the names. It's just WWE did not want to induct so many people, and I believe they did a great decision doing so. They well deserved it. They were a huge force in WCW and then later on in the WWE. They had a huge amount of heat and the fans absolutely embraced it. So I'm glad they're going in the Hall of Fame. There was a few more names that were part of NWO that I wish were included, but I understand why WWE did not do so. And the last WWE 2020 Hall of Fame inductee is Batista. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time is finally going in the Hall of Fame, of course, after last year's WrestleMania match against Triple H. In my opinion, it was a great match, and even leading up to it, everything with Ric Flair that Batista did, I felt was awesome, and I followed it to the T. It was amazing to see Batista getting back into the WWE, because let's face it, he's been getting more into acting, but he is an amazing actor, so I don't hate him for that. I was just glad to see him come back, but after WrestleMania facing Triple H, he did lose. After that, he announced he was retiring, which... I did not want to see. I liked the opportunity of having him come back for WrestleMania matches or different matches throughout the year spontaneously, but I do understand that he's focusing more on his acting career and it makes sense business-wise for him. He was a two-time WWE Champion, a four-time and longest reigning World Heavyweight Champion, a three-time World Tag Team Champion, one-time WWE Tag Team Champion, and the winner of the 2005 and 2014 Royal Rumble. He was an amazing force in the WWE. I loved him early on, and then whenever he came back with Triple H and Randy Orton as a reboot of Evolution, and also part of the authority in my opinion, I thought that was amazing to see. It's just his return to the WWE did not last too long. And then eventually he came back for his retirement match against Triple H at WrestleMania. Everything was built up amazing. I'm glad he's going in the Hall of Fame. In my opinion, if I had to pick the headliner, I would not pick NWO, even though they deserve to be a headliner. In my opinion, the headliner this year is Batista. But as of right now, it is uncertain as of when they're actually going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. The date for the actual Hall of Fame ceremony is postponed due to COVID-19, but these wrestlers definitely deserve to go in the Hall of Fame. And this year, in my opinion, as of previous years, this year is the most elite Hall of Fame inductees, meaning... Everybody on this list deserves to go in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. They have a lot of top guys going in the Hall of Fame this year, and I can't wait for the actual ceremony. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take care. Comment down below what you guys think of this year's WWE Hall of Famers, and I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.